adding mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Let's take a look at an example. 2 and 1 fourth plus 1 and 1 third. Let's set this problem vertically. We line up the fractions and the whole numbers. This is called stacked form. To find the sum of mixed numbers with unlike denominators, we have to find the common denominator. We do this by finding the least common multiple between 4 and 3. So the common denominator is 12. What can we multiply 4 by to get 12? 3. We also have to multiply the numerator by 3 to get 2 and 3 twelfths. Let's rename the second mixed number. To get 12 in the denominator, we have to multiply 3 by a number. That number is 4. We also have to multiply the numerator by 4 to get 1 and 4 twelfths. Now we can add. First, we add the fractions. 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths equals 7 twelfths. Next, we add the whole numbers. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So the final answer is 3 and 7 twelfths. Let's do another example. 3 and 1 sixth plus 2 and 3 fourths. Let's turn it into stacked form. First, we find the common denominator. The common denominator between 6 and 4 is 12. To get 12 in the denominator, we multiply 6 times 2. We also multiply the numerator by 2 to get 3 and 2 twelfths. Now we have to rename the second mixed number. To get 12 in the denominator, we have to multiply 4 times 3. We also have to multiply the numerator by 3. So we get 2 and 9 over 12. Now we can add. First we add the fractions. 2 over 12 plus 9 over 12 equals 11 over 12. Then we add the whole numbers. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So the final answer is 5 and 11 over 12. Let's do another example. 4 and 1 sixth plus 1 and 2 ninths. Let's set this problem vertically. First we find the common denominator. The common denominator between 6 and 9 is 18. To get 18 in the denominator, we multiply 6 times 3. We also have to multiply the numerator by 3 to get 4 and 3 eighteenths. Now let's rename the second mixed number. To get 18 in the denominator, we multiply 9 times 2. We also multiply the numerator by 2 to get 1 and 4 over 18. Now we can add. First we add the fractions to get 7 over 18. Then we add the whole numbers to get 5. So the final answer is 5 and 7 eighteenths. Let's do another example. 2 and 1 half plus 1 and 3 fifths. Let's set this problem vertically. First we need to find the common denominator. The common denominator between 2 and 5 is 10. Let's rename the first mixed number. To get 10 in the denominator, we have to multiply 2 by 5. We also have to multiply the numerator by 5 to get 2 and 5 tenths. Now let's do the same for the second mixed number. To get 10 in the denominator, we have to multiply 5 times 2. We also have to multiply the numerator by 2 to get 1 and 6 tenths. Now we can add. First we add the fractions, and then we add the whole numbers. We get 3 and 11 over 10. As you can see, 11 over 10 is an improper fraction. So this is not our final answer. We can turn 11 over 10 into a proper fraction by dividing 11 by 10. We get 1 and 1 over 10. We add 3 and we get 4 and 1 tenth. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.